What's up, guys? Back at it with another one. You feel me? Headed to a business meeting. What time is it? Let me check. 12.30. My way. You know, I'm in L.A. Whatever time it is in you guys' city, I hope you up and at it. Today, I wanted to talk about life, man. And the stress and pressures of life, man. We all go through uh, stress and pressure, man. Some know how to handle it better than others. And some fold under pressure. I know you heard of the saying, pressure busts pipes. We, we, notice I say we, we in our community think that pressure busts pipes means snitching on someone. <laughs> They promote that a lot, you know, that, 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 this, and that, that, and this. Look, man, we all have our own opinions and our own foresees in life, but you have to live for yourself, man, for your own health, for your own mind, your own thought process, because the world is steady out here, nitpicking and Taking shots and trying to control them now. Trying to control your mouth that you run and your mind. That came out wrong, but I'm going to make it right. That's what we do. I say, put your head in a book, man. You definitely need to put your head in some books and some interviews. And don't chase what everybody else is chasing, man. Don't chase what everybody else is chasing, man. It's too much pressure. If you, if you live in the United States, the Western world, if you live anywhere in the Western world, you will understand there's too much pressure out here. Especially on our African-American community, as we say. So if you look like me, I'm speaking to you right now. Don't go out here chasing what these dumb people got you out here chasing. Just because they got money, they're rich, they, they got this, they got that, half of it ain't even theirs. When they run out of money, they gonna come seize that shit. So listen, you get out here and you create your own, man. You create your own life, you create your own wealth. You create your own understanding. You know, some of us let the pressure get so bad that we forget that we have people around us watching. And that's depending on us to prevail and, and, and show light in the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Some of us, people are looking at us for tunnel vision. Me, I can vouch that I'm one of those people. That people are looking to see what I'm going to do. <laughs> I got some tricks up my sleeve, but I don't display everything. The goal is to work in silence. You know, you let it, you can you can let people know a little bit what you got going on, but not letting them know too much man it's like it's like driving when you're, when you're out here driving which i know most of you i hope most of you do and have a car and license when you hit this road you can easily be persuaded by crazy drivers them getting up on your tail them stomping on brakes them rushing you to make a move that's just like life man but guess what? We all are in our own vehicles. We all control our own wheels. Unless you're in the Tesla or something. <laughs> you know it? But listen, you control it. You control your vehicle, man. You control your vehicle. Nobody controls your body and your mind, man. Unless you locked up and they smacking the bars telling you to wake up and do this and that. Look, the goal is to be free. And to be alive, man. I'm going to say this. Let the dead bury the dead. If you're alive, you still have a fighting chance. Do 
not let the pressures of the world control you. I've been a victim too many times. But guess what? That was before I developed my mind. Now I sit back and watch people observe who look up to me, but they don't give credit. You know, nobody wants to give credit where his credit is due, especially in our community. Especially in our community. Nobody wants to give credit where credit is due. So you have to keep it pushing. Just because you're not getting acknowledged doesn't mean that you have to stop doing what you're doing because the acknowledgement isn't there. They're, hey, look, they know. They see it. They see it. But you have to keep it pushing, whether you have support or non-support, because there's people out there that's dependent on you. They won't say they dependent on you watching your moves. But look, if you're doing the same thing that you've been doing for years, then I don't want nothing to do with you. Don't call my phone. Don't text me because I'm not texting you or calling your phone. I stay in my own lane. I'm good at doing that. Yo, if I have to get in a car or get on my two feet and get away from the pressures of people, I'll do that. I'll do that, man, because I like to be by myself, man. I don't need too much help from nobody, man. I'll figure it out. I don't, look, you don't either. Figure it out, man. Don't get persuaded from the pressures of the world. I say this, check on your friends, your family, your siblings, man. It's hard times out here right now, but life goes on. So a lot of people can either fold with life or stand tall and have a backbone. You stand tall, man. You 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 be the balance where people can be like, whoa, like I can I can balance off of off of him or her. Because they look like they they got their foot planted. <laughs> you want to plant your feet, man. Like you're playing basketball or football. Or whatever sport. Or whatever job. You have to plant your feet somewhere, man. To get, get a base. <coughs> Learn how to depend on yourself, man. There's nothing wrong with having help and having people give and support whenever they can but you need to learn like the best thing to do not you need the best thing to do is to learn how to be self-sufficient a lot of people are going to hate you because of who you are and a lot of people are going to hate you because of where you're trying to go to but they won't hate you for being the same it's only you're only going to get hated for for trying to do better you know, whether you have something or you don't have anything, you will be hated for trying to attain something. <coughs> but it's better to try to obtain something than to be out here trying to obtain nothing. It's a lot of opportunities right now with this crypto, with the NFT. Look, if you out here still living off the, like, depending on the bank and the government and the feds, and it ain't going to work out long, man. They might throw you a couple of bones, but it ain't long lasting, man. So you got to get out here and create opportunities. If you out here slanging, if you out here finessing, if you out, look, man, <coughs> it's more to it. Unless you got to a legitimate business and it's long lasting, it's more to it. Or... You're just going to be doing the same thing for the rest of your life. So I suggest you find something else to plant your feet in. You have to be versatile, versatile, whatever. You have to learn how to be self-sufficient, not dependent on somebody. You can go out here and get a job. There's nothing wrong with a job. A job is good, man. It keeps you busy. It keeps your income coming in. And it keeps your mind on something. Some people go get two or three jobs. Ain't nothing wrong with it if you know what you're doing with it. You, you, I call them freedom papers. Why? Because you got to learn how to use that money to get your freedom. 
I learned that from a specific person, Freedom Paper. It works for me, and I hope that advice works for you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys up long. I wanted to come through and give you a quick tutorial motivation on this Tuesday. It's 12.40. No. And I'm headed to Agura Hills in Malibu. Business. Business. You hear me? Business. Not not your neighbor, not your neighborhood. I'm not your neighborhood guy. Feel me? Look, business. Get some. You guys stay blessed. You wake up, drink you some water. Matter of fact, you know I keep that and I keep that book. You know, that's my business portfolio. And you know what's in there. <laughs> look, I'm on my business and I keep that business with me. So look, don't go out here and get caught in the pressures, man. We living. We living, man. We breathing. You guys stay blessed. Love.